guys welcome back and thanks for taking the time to, to join me as always I'm going to tell you a wee uh, just a bit of fun wee lock style pattern now, that's the wee fly there now, it's just a bit of fun but I think it's got all the correct colour combinations to be a good wee fly for the for the lock fisher now I'm just going to get the pheasant crest suit here because I forgot about those the thread we're going to use to tie the fly is beauty thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and we'll get the thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook and we'll just run on a bit of thread here until we're sort of way down near the, the barb of the hook and remove the waist tag. Now we're going to put on two crest feathers. One's going to be red and this here is what you call a uh, bentaid solar flare. Uh, I should have had these off, it's my own fault. I got ahead of myself. Per usual. Now we'll just take two crest feathers off and it's up to you what ones you put on, what one you put on top and what one goes on the on the bottom. I'm just going to go with the red on top and then the the solar flare on the bottom. Now I just come around with a loose turn and then I just come in, we'll just lift these up. Now, they're too long so I'm just going to put them in a wee bit. Still a wee bit too long for me. Right. I'm just going to check like that we got the hook from the side at times. Right. That's going to do me there, so I'm just going to tighten up. Then I'm going to come in and just trim this around about the, the length of the body or so. Now, the rib on the fly is a glow bright floss, two strands of glow bright floss number number four so I'll just take a strand off here and all to do is just double on two I'm just strengthening it you know it's no good putting on a just a single strand of the glow bright floss this is just the the strength in it then I want to put it in the length and then we'll just run our thread up tying this in now the body's going to be dubbed, so we don't need to be worrying about lumps and bumps. We're just concentrating on tanning our materials to make a strong fly. Then we're going to bring our thread back down and open turns, tied up against the tail. Now, the dubbing that we're going to use, this is a mix of Glow Bright Floss number 12, Rainbow, Light Bright, and pearl light bright. It's a bright gonna be a bright wee fly this. Now we're just gonna take off our dubbing. Just take a small pinch. Another wee pinch for the bottom. Always remember just take your dubbing the one way. Just if you're new to the videos here and you haven't been subscribing or you just drop by, that's fine. To have a wee look just finger, thumb an index finger and always take it the one way. Now we're just gonna dub this up the run this up the body. Now I love messing about with light brights and blending them together. And I'll just show you another blend. I've tied a wee fly with this before like a wee peach orkney pattern. That's the glow bright. I think it's the number five and that number there, let me check for you. Just forget number eight. So that's the, the five and eight blended together with a wee bit of gold light bright through it. Now we'll just get our haggle and we're just going to use a this is a grizzly hand haggle dyed olive. So we're going to get a nice haggle off. Then we'll come in and take away the rubbish at the bottom. Just take off some of the fibers. 
the bit of the stem after this up to the hook around with nice tight turns expose your stem, trim that away and then we're just going to polymer this down the body now per usual when I tie my Irish lock style flies I like to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly and then two or three turns down the body to there now at this point just keeping a hold of your tip just come around with your glow bright floss just like to give it a wee twist and every time you take a turn just give it a twist just to tighten it up and you're looking four turns of the glow bright floss up the body anything that's going forward just sweep it back bring your thread in front follow that around the floss in front, follow the, the thread around and then just tighten everything up now the glue bright floss is a good rib it will last now we'll just take that away and then we'll just break away the tip of the hackle at the back and then I'm just going to come in with my velcro if I can find it desperately need to get this desk tidied up just a wee bit of velcro and a lollipop stick and this is just to bring out the the hackle fibers that are caught in a wee bit of the the dubbing for the body. Now we're we're looking ground. We we'll bring the thread back up tight against the, the body hackle. Now the next hackle is going to be a grizzle hen. And this is the the vineyard one, and it's dyed in insect green. So it's basically just a green hackle, guys. I don't give up the the colours, their names, I just want to give you the right information right. we're just going to tie this in by the tip just come around with a couple of turns, just going to fold the tip back bring my thread back up over the tip and the haggle come in and break away the tip, right. I'm only going to do one turn of this turn the half, sorry That's one. And I'm just going to put a, a wee half one in, just on top. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of turns I'll catch that in. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. Anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Then I'm going to run my thread down to the eye and back up tight against the one of the front tackles. Now we're going to put a wing on. Just going to get a bit of wax first. And the wing's just going to be this is bleached. This is bleached deer her. So it is. Now you're just looking at a small amount. You're not looking to go crazy. Just a wee amount for a wing. Trim that away. Just clean out the rubbish. Now I'm just going to pop it into the stagger, you don't have to stagger it, you can just put it on the way it is but if you follow the channel, I do like stacking certain hers now just get in the stagger, tap it on the side of my hand that's lined all the tips up for us you can take that out and then you can have the wing, it's up to you, have as long as short as you like now, I'm just going to offer mine up and sort of we want that just past halfway of a measurement into the tail. Just come in and hold it on top. Come around with a pinching loop. And what I do here is don't let and go of the wing and keep your thread tight. Take another two turns at the top. Take a couple of turns through the deer here and then bring my thread back into position. Now, just come in collect the majority of the deer hair, you'll always miss one or two then you can let go your wing just collect the, the cut ends you want to try and get a nice close cut on that any wee bits that you've missed you can just break those away just a bit of Scene. So just trim 
those trying to race you see shooting race bad habits now I'm just going to get another layer of wax onto the thread I'll come back in and hold the wing bring my thread to the eye build my thread up over the cut ends now, don't worry if you miss a couple a little bit grand I'll just come in and trim those away Sometimes deer hair goes all over the place on you. But it'll be alright, just work with it. Right, just bring my thread back up tight against the, the wing. Now the front haggle is just going to be a winding lace wing. This one here that is dyed uh, a fluorescent yellow. I want one of the bigger feathers at the top of the cape. Just like a leggy pattern. And then we'll just come down here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to come in. Let's get this on camera for you. And just trim the tip of the hackle away. Leaving that wee small tan and tag as I call it. Now just come around with a turn. Same again, bring them a thread turn down. And back up. And that covers all the cut ends of the wing, the deer hair. Now we're just going to come round with two turns of this is going to be plenty for me. If you've got the this lace wing colour in the cape, I'm just going to put another one in. Um, it's up to you, the colour. That you like to see in the in the front of the fly. Right, that's going to do me there. I'm just going to follow this around with my thread. Get a couple of tight turns in. Come in with my scissors because the stem is just too thick on these to, to fold back. Trim away the the remainder of the feather. Another wee neck of wax. and sweep anything that's going forward back thread back down to the eye and back up now you have a decision to make here you can you don't have to don't have to put jungle cock on any fly but see as the majority of the time in my videos I've always got split split jungle eye, cock eye you know plenty of them You can see them here. See, let me see. See them there, but they're they're split. <laughs> this is a really good way to, to use jungle cockle, the Irish lock or Scottish lock patterns. You know, so just going to come in, just stroke it back now, just to exaggerate the split, because it's only split probably about three mil down. I'm just going to come in with my scissors here. And just encourage that split. Then we're just going to offer this up to the, the hook, up to the fly. Then we'll come around with our thread turns. Don't worry about if any fibres go forward, just concentrate and tan in the, the jungle cock. Have a wee look. Just going to take one more turn. I'm happy with that. I'm going to lift everything up and bring my thread back down to the eye. Now I'm really tightening up the tension on my thread turns here, being super tight with it. Just tie up over the top of the, the jungle cock. Now then we're trying to break that off. Just come in with a nice pair of sharp scissors here and just trim away the remainder of the jungle cock. Don't become a, don't be trying to, to break them off guys. 
when they're like that, your best just to come in and just cut the, the jungle cock away. And then you can bring your thread up just over the, the cut ends, just building the head up a wee bit more here. Then you can come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a, a whip finish. Pull the thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your, your tan thread. Now, the first coat on the head is going to be super glue. So, we're just going to come in with the super glue, just a wee dab onto the head. And I actually got the the shot fixed now. The last couple of videos you probably watched. I was not able to spin the rotate the fly right round now on and it wasn't actually the camera it was the vase the vase had moved so once that dries I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just onto the head to seal everything up but that's the wee fly it's a bright wee pattern there's a wee bit to it but I think I've said before to you when you have for any of the guys that subscribe to that channel See, once you can tie these, these type of flies, where they're multi-hackled, maybe your fingers, three haggles and that, a bit of a wing, you'll be able to tie any fly. Honestly, the, the Irish Lock flies will test you, 100%. So, if you face the Irish Locks, you face maybe face the Mayfly, I think that would work for the Mayfly. Tie a few of those up, hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really do appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the wee channel out and it helps it grow. And until next time guys, please stay safe and tight lanes.